Um, another um, sort of indirect result of the um, adoption of the catalytic converter is a reduction in lead as a pollutant. Okay, lead is also um, um, you know considered a pollutant. And at one time in the United States, we had a real problem with lead especially in the soils around heavily traveled roads and in the air around heavily traveled roads. Um, and, and the reason why we had a problem with lead, and in particular a form of lead called tetraethyl lead, or TEL for short, was um, tetraethyl lead was a, an additive, a fuel additive, that helped gasoline burn slower and so it was considered an anti-knocking additive because sometimes if your fuel burns too fast your engine will knock and so to slow that down, um, or to actually, it actually brings, it just, it helped bring more oxygen actually into the, into the gasoline mixture and helped it burn more smoothly, they would add this additive, tetraethyl lead. But, you know, what goes into the engine also comes out of the engine, and so what happened with the emissions was then you're emitting lots of bits of lead. And, um, but what happened when the government said that we had to use catalytic converters is the lead in the in the fuel additives destroyed or poisoned the catalytic converter it ruined it so in order to to manufacture cars with catalytic converters the uh, united states had to provide gasoline that did not have this tetraethyl lead additive in it okay and so um the uh that's why now when you go to fill up your gas in your car you'll see that it says you can either get unleaded fuel or diesel fuel well, what the heck does unleaded mean? For you all, most of you were born after, um, you know, we stopped having widespread use of leaded fuels um, in the United States. And so the only thing you've ever seen is unleaded. But it used to be if you pull up to the gas station, there'd be leaded, unleaded, or diesel. And you'd have to know whether or not you had a diesel engine or a gas engine. And then you'd have to know whether or not your car came with a catalytic converter or not. So you could choose the gas. And early on, the unleaded was more expensive than the leaded. So obviously, if you didn't have a catalytic converter, you'd want to pick the leaded gas because it was cheaper. Um, but now, you know, in the U.S., you can't even buy leaded. So why they still say unleaded, I don't know, because um, that's all you can get is unleaded. Now, that doesn't mean that other countries still don't use tetraethyl lead. It's a great anti-knocking additive. So, for example, Mexico and um, in several other countries, I um, uh, can't think of them, the close, our closest neighbor that, that still uses leaded fuel is Mexico, for sure, and some Asian countries and African countries um, still use leaded gas, and that's not good for the environment. So, um, you know, it's something that in the U.S., it took a collective political will to say, okay, pollution is bad, the um, legislature passed, you know, the Clean Air Act, and because of, uh, it was mandated, you know, to do business in this country, you have to follow certain rules. And the rules are the cars that are sold here have to have catalytic converters, and the gas that's sold here has to work in those cars. And um, so as a result of that, we have a cleaner environment. And so that just takes people you know, understanding pollution and voting for the types of people that make those kinds of good decisions, and then everybody following the rules, um, which is the way it works here. Okay, so that's a little side story on lead.